So today we are doing something slightly different. Today we're looking at the May June 2013 Agricultural Science Single Award Paper One. We're looking at the multiple choice from 2013. I think in 2000, 2013 and 2014 there were some leaked paper ones. All right, I don't think it happened since then. I haven't gotten anything since then, but these are official leaked paper ones from CX. You know, you know normally CX get these things you know, with their life. So they are, they are not really readily available. So the only ones I have available would be the 2013 and the 2014. But today we're going to look at the 2013. And we're not going to go through it as per se because I've selected them already. But I'll just run through it, record it, so that you can see the choices that I made, the best choices that I made. So let's go. Starting here, right here, number one. A farmer who does not use pesticides or chemical fertilizers is most likely practicing. And for me, the best answer is organic farming. Organic farming. Number two, gross domestic product or GDP is the total value of goods and services produced in a country. Number three, an agronomist is a person who specializes in the study of growth and management of crops. Number four, which of the following constraints to agriculture cannot be remedied by government? And of course, the best answer here is topography. That's the slope of the land. Number five, biodiversity refers to different species of organisms and the variety of habitats in which they live. Biodiversity. Number six, the acronym CDB represents Caribbean Development Bank. CDB, Caribbean Development Bank. Number seven, in food safety, the acronym GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practices. Good Manufacturing Practices. Number eight, the growing of crops without soil is called hydroponics. That's where you use some kind of liquid. All right, hydroponics. Number nine, if the price of a product at farm gate is high, Farmers will want to supply more. So they're saying that the, the, the price is high, the supply and demand. So the price is high, so therefore you supply more to maximize profit, to jump in on that trend one time. Number nine, a central agency buys from farmers and sells to customers. The agency also sets certain prices for agricultural produce. Functions such as these relate mainly to, and the best answer here is marketing. You can something you might think is distributing because they say buy from and sell to, but when you look looking at prices, that's part of marketing. So the best answer here is marketing. Number eleven, which of the following is not considered a factor of production? Of course, the factors of production are land, labor capital and management so the best answer here is marketing marketing is not a factor of production number 12 on a subsistence farm labor is mainly supplied by the farmer and his family farmer and his family all right uh number 13 use this diagram to answer 13 which would be the most economical for the farmer to produce to matter which stage Okay, stage three, you have diminishing returns already kicking in, so it cannot be that. Stage one, you still have more room to grow, more room for production, so it cannot be that. So the best answer is stage two. Stage two is where is most economical. All right, number 14. Which of the following is least important when a farmer is applying for a loan? Of course, the bank ain't care whether you... You know, have A's, B's, a GPA of 4.0 or whatever. They, they don't care. So it is the resume. Banking care about the resume. They care about your budget, your collateral, your credit history. Your resume, mm -mm, not so much. Number 15, which of the following are true about the management structure of cooperatives? Okay, so they say one, is it that officers are elected every two years? Two, it managed by an elected committee. Or three, all farmers of good character can join the cooperative. So the best answer here is two and three, which is C. Now, you cannot really dictate. Different organizations have different rules. You don't know based on the island they're in and the laws that governs that. So you cannot say for sure that officers are elected every two years. That's not a mandate. It just depends on the constitution of that organization or whatever. 16. Subsidies are granted to 
Uh, B, to encourage production. So subsidies are what you call incentives. They are used to encourage people to produce more. So that's what that is. Uh, you might think that it would be to offset input, pri in input price increases, but the main aim is to encourage production in the first place because to offset input prices that would mean you're producing so the best answer here is to is encourage production in the first place number 17 which is the following is not a fixed cost all right the answer is repairs to buildings that's a variable cost because that doesn't occur every time it might be different a window might break this time maybe a door next time so the cost is going to vary from time to time it's not a set thing unlike insurance taxes and depreciation so that's why the answer is b repair buildings moving right along 18 farm records enable farmer to the best answer here plan and budget for his enterprise plan and budget for his enterprise all right, based on whatever reason records you have, you can, you can know what to do. All right, number 19, which of the following statements describe partial budget? All right, the best, okay, the options are, it contains only those income and expenses items which change and not total values, that's true. It is used in situations that require a change in the farm plan, that is also true. The profit, profitability of different farms can be, can be compared that's not exactly true so the best answer is a number 20 which of the following organized organisms organizations aim to promote agricultural development improve nutrition and pursue food security the best answer is fao food and agriculture organization their mandate is to you know uh, reduce hunger and increase food security 21 the type of soil that is formed in an area depends mainly on, of course, the type of parent material. So based on the parent material, that might influence the type of soil in the area. If, it's, if it is iron, it is red, whatever that might be from the parent material. All right, number 22. A soil sample taken from Miss Ali's farm shows a pH reading 7.0. This soil is said to be, and the best answer is neutral. 7 on the pH scale is neutral. 23, which of the following are found in the root nodes of leguminous plants? And the answer is B, the nitrogen-fixing bacteria. All right, the nitrogen-fixing bacteria are found on the root of leguminous plants. 24, to reduce the impact of water flowing down hillside, a farmer should, of course, practice contour farming. That's where you plow your land across. All right, you plow your land across the contours of the hill to reduce some of the flow of the water. Number 25, rainfall patterns over the last 10 years can be used as prediction records. You can use the records to, the, to, to predict, okay, maybe rain might be, you know, 10 inches this month, 7 this month, you know, a lot here. So you can plan properly based on the historical rainfall records. All right, which of the following crop is not usually harvested mechanically? The best answer here, of course, is watermelon. Watermelon tend to be very sensitive and bruise easily. And they have different variety of shapes when they're harvest, when they're um, mature. So you can't really use mechanical for watermelon. These others can be easily um, harvested mechanically, but not watermelon. All right, 27. Which of the following practices will not assist in the maintenance of soil fertility? Of course, the answer is staking. All these can add to soil fertility except for staking. 28. The development of roots on a stem to form a new plant while it is still attached to the plant, parent plant is known as the best answer is layering. Could be ear layering or a number of different layering um, types. Uh, budding, grafting, cutting all require separation from one plant to the next. All right, 29, hypogeal germination is shown by the corn. All right, the corn shows hypogeal germination. All right, moving on. 30, which of the following are necessary for photosynthesis to occur? The best answer is, of course, one and two, which is chlorophyll, because you need the chlorophyll to capture the light, and carbon dioxide. All right, plants take in carbon dioxide, chlorophyll and light come together to help with photosynthesis 31 when using a garden fork it, it should be inserted at a slight angle not vertically into the ground why 
for ease of penetration into the soil. It makes it easier to penetrate the soil from an angle. Okay. 32, which is the following are true of mitosis. All right, mitosis is a type of cell division. All right, the options are spe species, chromosome number is the same. Two, characteristics of the species are the same. All right, three, new plants have different growth patterns from parent plants. All right, so the best answer is one and two, which is species chromosome number is the same and characteristics of the species are the same. Uh, this one, number three, is tend to be dictated by, you know, um, nature, you know, the, the environment. All right, 33, an organism can have genes added to, its, added to it to improve food production. This process is called genetic engineering, all right, genetic engineering. 34, farmer Derek has a farm of 20 hectares of land. He cultivates vegetables, irrigates his crops with water from a pond in which he raised tilapia and grows ducks in a pen that extends over the pond. This type of farming is best described as mixed farming because you have livestock and and crops all right mixed farming number 35 a cultural method for controlling weed for controlling weeds is the use of mulch you can use mulch to keep down the weeds all right let's move on let's move on let's move on 36 the length of time a farmer should wait to harvest crops after applying pesticide is known as the harvest interval. All right, the harvest interval. You have to wait a certain time so that the the pesticides don't affect the finished product. You don't want anybody getting poisoned now, do you? All right, cucumber planted from seeds would be ready for harvest after all right six weeks. So tomato normally uh you know two to two and a half month crop, so about six weeks. All right. That's the best answer, at least. The best answer. Uh, plant tissue culture ensures that, okay, is it one, certified various plants are produced, two, new varieties can be selected quickly, or three, seasonal changes do not affect plant plant production. The best answer is one, two, and three, which is D. All right, because, of course, it's tissue culture. It's done in a lab, so therefore, seasonal changes do not affect the amount you can produce because it's in a lab. Also, new varieties can be selected quickly, and you because it's in a lab setting, they tend to be sterile. So more often than that, you can detect if viruses might be in a plant tissue and prevent it from being reproduced. Okay. Thirty-nine. Which of the following are advantages of processing hot peppers? One allows farmers to maximize profit. Two reduce the incidence of post-harvest disease. Or three, prolong the storage life of produce. And the best answer is all of the above. D, okay, when you process fruits and vegetables, you can maximize profits because you're not only looking at fresh revenue stream from fresh products, but from also process. You reduce incidence of um, disease because you, you prevent them from staying too long and getting spoiled and damaged. And then you prolong the storage life of the product right, because some of them tend to be have preservatives and stuff in that. All right, 40, the technique which can be used to remove water content of crops is, of course, drying. This one is pretty obvious, drying. All right, 41, which of the following animals regurgitates food, chew it, and, and swallows it again? Of course, we're talking about um, ruminants, and the only ruminant in the mix here is the goat. All right, 42 and 43, we um, use this diagram here of the hen. All right, which of the which which of the parts labeled one, two, three, and four is the proventriculus? So this is the esophagus, the crop, proventriculus, this is the gizzard, and these are the intestines. So the proventriculus is number three. Number 43, the function of the part labeled two, which is, where is two? The crop, all right, is to store ingested food. All right, store ingested food. 44, fish meal is an animal ration rich in rich in protein you know fish is rich in protein we know that all right 45 46 refers to the egg the part labeled i is the yolk of course and the function of the part labeled two which is the chalaza okay this one is a weird question it's a weird question because the function of the chalaza is normal to hold the yolk in place all right these two strong strings they hold the yolk in place but here they are saying that, you know, provide oxygen, rotate the yolk, facilitate cell division, uh, provide food for the developing embryo. 
So the best answer is B, rotate the yoke, even though the main job is to keep the yoke steady. All right, uh, 47, a broiler uses the formula, a broiler farm uses the formula, total kilogram of feed eaten, total kilogram of, of live weight gained times 100. All right, so this one is calculating the FCR or the food conversion ratio. 48, legumes are planted in a pasture mainly to the best answer is to increase protein content of the diet. Okay, because, you know, legumes give protein. 49. When building pens for animals, the farmer must ensure that they are well ventilated. This is done to facilitate the movement of, of course, ventilation is done to facilitate the movement of air. Okay, that's what ventilation is all about, vents for air. 50. The best type of soil on which to establish a fish farm is clay okay clay soil is the best soil to use I, all the others might require you to you know put in some artificial plastic to prevent the water from you know going under but clay because you get waterlogged easily water don't pass through as readily 51 which of the following are breeds of poultry of course it's a the legon the plymouth rock the new hampshire all right barbados black belly persian black those are sheep the silent toggenberg agnubian those are goats and the land race hampshire and jersey those where the land race is a pig this one is a pig, but this one is a cow. All right, just is a cow. So yes, the best answer is A, Leghorns. I mean, Leghorns, Plymouth Rock, New Hampshire. All right, 52, which of the following animals is reared for milk production? Of course, you have the Holstein. All right, this is a pig. These and these are reared for meat. But this is a Holstein. That's one of the premier milk cows. All right, 53, a cow has difficulties conceiving due to fertility problems. Which of the following techniques is used to overcome this problem? The best answer here is, of course, artificial insemination, where you actually inject the sperm into the body of the animal. Okay. 54. Which of the following occurs during the ostrich cycle? The best answer, of course, is ovulation. That is a part of the ostrich cycle. Ovulation where the egg is released and everything. So that's a part of the ostrich cycle. Gestation is how long is pregnant. Fertilization is when the male and female you know come together uh, so so yes so the best answer is ovulation 55 two diseases affecting rabbits are of course cockidosis and the sniffles all right this is normally a cow disease all right this is normally a bird disease all right cockidosis and snuffles that's normally a rabbit disease all right broiler birds with signs of blister on the face legs and other body parts are most likely infected with the best answer here is fall pox all right fall pox disease 57. Bees are of economic importance to citrus farmers because they increase food production. Okay, because you know, when you when you pollinate and there's pollination and everything, it can lead to you know fertilization and that would in turn lead to the reproduction, the production of fruits. Alright. When they fuse, they become fruits. So the best answer here is D. Increase food production. Alright. Bees definitely can't prevent stuff from getting stolen. Uh, bees are not normally used to control pests, that's more like ladybirds, and test food for ripeness, that's not the job of the bees. Bees are there for the flowers, to pollinate, to lead to fertilization, to lead to food development and production. 58. The function of the drone in the hive is to mate with the queen. That's all they have to do, mate with the queen. All right, all these are the jobs of the poor worker bee. 59. The beacon is a procedure used to reduce cannibalism in poultry take off the beaks cut off the beaks so that they don't pick each other too much and last but not least which of the following is the correct order for the process involved in marketing eggs collect sort clean grade and package that's the best order collect them then you sort them good from the bad clean the good ones you grade them according to size you package them get them ready for sale all right so that's the end of paper one agriculture science single award from 2013 all right, I might do the 2014 paper soon, so hit the notification bell if you want to see when that video drops. All right, so that's it for now.